It's me. The back cave. Oh, 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 oh. See what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not Holographic lenses? Voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has done. The suit absorbed most of the damage from that gunshot, and I've got to protect my back, even from the police. office to take a public stand against the wave of vigilante Mayor actions sweeping the streets. Mayor Hill today. cannot expect the district attorney's office to prosecute cases on any criteria other than the law, said the Dent at a city hall press conference. Dent has taken a firm stand against vigilantism in Gotham over the up uptick in buildings. citizen led shootings to the costume superhero Batman. So if you Dent is currently enjoying a surge of popularity with one of the lowest the criminal backlog indexes in the state. His groundbreaking victims wrong. assistance program was part of the platform that drove the most recent successful bid for the election the since becoming Gotham's youngest district attorney at the break. age of 26. Police lieutenant tapped to the lead task force. Gotham City Police and Commissioner Wayne Peter was presented with legislation that would have okay, dismantled yeah. organized Peter crime Bergen, in the city. Well, Lieutenant James Gordon to the Major Task Force after the criminal shadow. 
in the Gotham Underworld Anything recently increased to an alarming degree. In a press conference earlier today with Tim Gordon and Sissifa, we are aware of nevarious elements true. appear in the mobilized and Miles and are safe. At present, they are unknown, but no, even not unknown, we will find them. Gordon earned an honorable discharge from the United States Marine Corps for joining the Gotham City Police Department and has quickly risen through the ranks. He has frequently stated that the Marine Corps made him the man he is today. Wayne Enterprises funds Arkham Asylum replacement. The charitable arm of Wayne Enterprises headed by Robert and Regina Zellerbach has announced funding for a new mental health care facility to replace the outdated message. Arkham Asylum. For years, the asylum has made headlines for its inhumane approach to patient treatment and its violent, oftentimes deadly prisoner escapes. Soon, that will no longer be the case, and Thomas and Mark will go to Memorial Hospital as it will be called for all the mature maximum security combined with modern mental health care practices to truly heal those who are suffering. Ambitious plans are already underway to transfer current Arkham inmates as soon as construction completes and implement a critical program of rehabilitation and release. Owned by Ace Chemicals. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to I'll just any skip of that through these pause the video smoke. and you know read and them. one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmoni was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded so sky rail cars to contend with. So I take it, we don't have that girl yet are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half-prison, half-mental hospital to 15 this year. Trace detection skimmers. Newest addition. In program, it's revealed trace elements in a confined space. Can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. And I suppose that Catwoman would have preferred the latter. Grapple gun. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. Um, last but not least, the, ba the batter. I should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. Alright. Let's get big drive. Nearly fell off a building for this? So important. We need a crime fighting hero. <sighs> Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, hmm. in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. <laughs> sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. <laughs> Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a 
different angle. Is that a hologram projection? The projection of Gotham. Looked at the holograms, you said was. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. <laughs> hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Think so. Yeah, and the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. <laughs> but you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Thank God. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. <laughs> oh, no, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. Hmm. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. <laughs> well, the car helps. <laughs> oh, yes, you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Park, 6 a.m. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him... Oz is an Oswald Cobblepot. Indeed. You two were thick as, as thieves. the penguin? Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. <laughs> I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. The one that got away. Cobblepot Park. Where are you, Oz?
Somebody took a picture of me shaking hands with Falcone. Son of a biscuit. Good change. Uh, thank you, sir. Statue, but no eyes. Smoking man. Hey. Beat it. Wow, that's rude. Just wanted to say hello. Turn me away like a jerk. Well, it isn't what it used to be. This is really run down. So that's Father. Yeah, Oswald's Father. Watch Wallet Cash. Oh, God. Really? This goes through you. You heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're the moment! Come here! I think that'll do! Stay down! Jesus! This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh, God. Jesus. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Eh, yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Yeah. You didn't need to take it so far. Some folks are fine hearing, Bruce. Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce. I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. 
A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home, that oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, extreme. mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. God, will we actually see him turn into the penguin? Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises his own. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Oh, God, yeah, we're gonna see him turn into the penguin. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but... Boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, 
with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Uninvited guest. You even shook his hand. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, what? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father. Thomas Wayne. What? what exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Oh, Care to comment? How dare you? I just finished telling you about my parents' murder and you accuse them of being what? Criminals? Have some decency. Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Oh, no. Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Oh, no.